Damn, look how these things turned out. Ooh, fire. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So my family gave me a couple hours today on a Saturday to work on this project. So I'm finally getting around to uh, actually painting these calipers that I've been talking about for the last two episodes. So what I'm gonna do today, uh, I'm, I'm gonna spray this touch up paint direct. This is what I used, the, uh, I got the base coat color for, for my calipers. And then um, on the, the rear hats and then the shields, I'm gonna use some old uh, 212, which is the color of my car that I had left over from one of my old projects. I'm gonna finish that up. I also had some leftover 2K clear coat from one of my projects that I'm gonna use on those shields also. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna use the clear, uh, the 2K clear from Amazon to do the, the clear on the calipers and then uh, you know the whatever I have left, I'll try to spray as much as I can. One of the things is, uh, you know, you gotta have the proper PPE for all this. So make sure if you're gonna spray that you guys have a, a mask with cartridge filters on it that no, not you know that not just like a paper mask or anything. This stuff is carcinogenic. It's professional grade stuff, so you got to use like a professional grade respirator to make sure that you can uh, you know you don't damage your lungs and your health. So uh, I think that's really all I'm gonna do today. So stay tuned. So if you saw the last video, I actually you know got all the deep gouges on the face of this down using a an angle grinder with a 60 bit wheel on it. Got that done. I got. You know most of the, the damage that was here on both of the calipers there those are all smoothed out now so they're all ready for paint um, i'm gonna end up uh, taping you know the, the the pistons off and the rubber seals around the pistons off so i don't get paint on those i'm also gonna be taping up uh, this area where the uh, the seat and the washer are for the um, the bolts and then over here and you know the thread for the bleeder valve in this area so those are the areas you don't want paint on uh, same with the threads inside here for the for the screws this side I'm going to end up painting because this is not a I don't think this mates up against anything because the screw actually comes in through the back and it, it holds it onto the spindle from the back here so that's what I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know tape right now Got everything taped up nicely right in there. You can see I trimmed down the, the little circles for the pistons on each side. Got it nice, got those circles there. I filled in those threads with some of uh, the leftover tape that I cut out. So it's nice and ready for paint now. I'm gonna use this, this regular rust oleum, buy this at Walmart or Advanced Auto Parts self etching primer to uh, get the first couple layers of primer on here. I'm gonna, before I start that, I'm gonna wipe it, wipe everything down, all the surfaces, the, at least the, the ones, the faces, and everywhere where I care about with some acetone. Get it all nice and clean and dust free so I can get the primer on the stick. So we're going to be spraying the back plates and then the rear rotors right now in black. I'm going to just have it on this table with the plastic, protective plastic just to spray it. The shields I'm going to actually hang on that thing right there so I can get both sides the coverage on it. What I'm going to do is I've got the, my black is still base coat, just standard base coat out of a gun. So I'm going to be mixing that and spraying it. Um, 
I have a little bit of 2k left so I'm probably gonna use it on the shield since I don't care about the shine on the shields on the and then I'll see how far I get with whatever I have left with that 2k I'm waiting to, for the coats to paint or to dry on the other ones between coats. I'm gonna go ahead and scuff these up since I've waited like three days since I primed them to work on it. If you paint within 24 hours, you don't have to scuff it up, but after 24 hours, you have to scuff the, the primer up so you can paint it. So to spray the base coat, I ended up buying this Touch Up Paint Direct. It's an aerosol spray. They make a bunch of different products that, for touch up purposes. I decided to go with this burnt orange. It's off a of Suzuki Hayabusa. I think it was a foreign one. It's a, like a burnt copper. I forgot what it was the official name of it was, but it looks like that on there. So the reason why I went with that is I wanted to go with like an orange and a gold copper, and that ended up being the best one that I saw that a lot of motorcycle guys use and then a few other guys used it so I went with that color. I I was thinking about the, just the regular orange that these come in that you get as an option but then I decided nah I wanted something like that to kind of stand out a little and I like the metallic in it. It was about 40 bucks for that can and then I'm gonna clear coat it all with that spray max I was talking about earlier.
All right, I burned through that can. It didn't give as much coverage as I thought for 40 bucks, but it works. This color is nice. It's freaking metallic as hell. It's, I think it's called burning, what is it called? Burning Copper Metallic. So it's a Suzuki color, but it laid down really good. It was all metallic coming out. Coverage was decent. Um, I probably got a good, probably two coats on here before I ran out on that uh, can. But yeah, if you really want to do it nice and thick, two cans would probably do it. That's what, like 40 bucks each. So 35, 40 bucks each, depending on if you get a discount or not on there. So that's, if you're, I should have gotten two cans. I would have felt better if it had a thicker coat on here, but oh well, that's all I got now. So I did get a little bit of that overspray metallic onto the the disc. So the, the black is actually looking like some metallic in it, which makes it look kind of cool. So the flash time on this paint is about half an hour. So I'm gonna wait about half an hour and then I'm gonna spray this 2K Clear Max or Spray Max Clear. Get it a nice coat. So what you gotta do to activate it is you shake it for two minutes before, take this cover off, put it at the bottom here. Make sure it's set on the table. Put it in there and, and press it down. Thanks for watching all the way to the end, man. This is, it was hot out there today, man. It's uh, it like 80 something degrees out here in Florida and I'm out here with the respirator on trying to spray this stuff in the sun. But uh, it turned out great. I mean, uh, it much better than I expected from uh, what, you know, what I had left over on materials. And then even that spray max and that, uh, that rattle can base coat that I was using turned out pretty well. Um, I'll, I'll walk it uh, closer right now so we can take a look, but um, you know, it, I think it was a great job. It took me about three, three and a half hours to finish this. So the black rotor hats turned out pretty good. It's nice and shiny with that leftover material I had. I used the 2K from the the regular one, uh, so it you know it's dried up now. And you could test if it dried up by just touching the tape around the edges to see how well it is. I'm gonna let it dry overnight. The copper, the burnt copper turned out really good over here. You could see that once I peel this, it'll be much better looking. But uh, when I was mixing that, rattle can 2k I was getting worried because it I didn't hear any sound when that stuff was mixing but it ended up mixing well because it actually dried and hardened so overall that's great over here to the road or the calipers the calipers turned out really awesome look at look at that burnt copper look the metallic in it is great I love that metallic but it turned out good you saw me kind of get all the nooks and crannies and every little edge on this thing to make sure that the gloss and the paint covered well so that's good and then the dust shields turned out great too got I had a lot more black left over so I was able to coat them a couple times if you saw in the video and then I hit them with that 2k clear that I had which was I thought I didn't have enough but it turned out pretty decent amount left over anyway guys thanks for watching and I hope you like this video and uh, you like the content that I'm providing don't forget to subscribe to your channel and on my next video I'm gonna be actually installing these all in the car and uh, getting it all finished up so anyway I'll see you guys next time